Hello and welcome. Andrea here. I was asked if I can go on and show how I put on foundation because I've been told that I have good coverage and you guys would like to see how I do it. Right now I'm just putting on primer. That's all that I had on my hands. My primer is Elf Primer. That's what I use because right now, and I will go over it, all we have are the lip colors, the mascara, um, the cleansing oil and the toner, which are right here. Um, we have our nighttime face mask, our sunscreen, our nighttime lip scrub and lip mask. This is the scrub, I just showed up the, the mask. But I'm going to be showing how I apply my, my foundation because that's what I asked, was asked if I could show how I do my foundation. Right now, since we don't carry it in, the, in our store, I just use the e.l.f. brand and it is snow. I'm not sure if you can read that. It's snow because I am like whiter than white. Although right now you can see I'm kind of red. But that is from my medicine because I'm currently sick. I may not look sick anymore, but I'm currently sick. And I just put it on my hand. One pump, two pump. Sometimes I don't use a full two pumps. So we're going to do that. And now I'm going to try the blender to apply it today. Um, I have been using my little brush just like this. That's my, my blush run. But the one I use for foundation is right here. It's pretty much the same brush, same size, everything. Actually, let, let's do that. So I'm going to put it on the brush and I'm just going to dab it all over and then we'll go in with the, the blender and we will make it work. And yes, I'm getting it in my eyebrows everywhere because you basically want it everywhere. So there it is on the brush. We are putting it everywhere. Make sure you get it everywhere because you're going to be getting everywhere. So now we're going to go in with the beauty blender and we're just going to pat. And yes, I'm getting it in my eyes. Well, not in my eyes, but on my eyes. And we are just patting it everywhere. And my bl blender brush, blender, I want to call it a brush, is wet, or not wet, wet, but damp, so that it helps spread your foundation more. It helps get around your eyes. Look, look at how much it cleaned up that eye. I need to do a better job with this eye. There we go. And I'm just patting. I'm not actually rubbing. I'm patting. Because if you rub it, you're just going to... It, it's not really going to work. But there we go. There's that so far. Look at that. And then we're going to come do that down through here. Get our nose. Most people don't think to get the underside of their nose, but get the underside of your nose. And then I'm going to come in with my brush to get fully underneath. And I'm just tapping. Because so you want to get these dark circles too. And so now I'm going to come back in with my brush. It's still got foundation on it. And we're just going to make sure we get our nick as well because you, you want to make sure you get that full coverage. Most people don't think, oh, I don't need to bring it down to make myself look good. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And I'm just going to do little circles with my brush now. And then we're going to go back over with the bl blender. Lately, I haven't been using the blender when I do my videos for you all. But it still looks good. So I've not been too worried. We're just going to make sure we get our neck and everything as well. And notice I'm doing circular motions. That's the best way to make sure you get that full coverage. 
Now I'm just going to come back in with my blender and get make sure I get my eyes really good because I've been looking tired. And you can still see my redness from my cheeks. That's from my antibiotics. It is all good. You just want to make sure you get it all. And there's the foundation. Look at that. A complete coverage of foundation. It looks like hardly anything on the blender brush. Blender brush. It's a blender brush. We'll just call it a bl blender brush because that's what I want to call it. It's a blender brush. But now I'm thinking I want to do a smoky eye since we're here doing our makeup. So I'm going to go in with this gray right here. But first, I'm thinking I want to tape off and get that cat's eye going. Which means we will be touching up underneath our eye. But that's okay. I'm going to do my tape trick. You want to go from the corner of your eye to the tip of your eyebrow when you do the tape trick. So the corner of your eye to the tip of your eyebrow. But you don't want to put the tape actually in your eye and it's not actually in my eye. But it is irritating now. So go figure on that one. So that's that. So I will show you. That's not the palette I want. That's not the palette I want. That's my highlighter palette. I haven't really been highlighting either, but we, we may, we may. So I got my brush. This is just the, the elf brush to help me. This is the fluffy part that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to take this dark silver in my Alme and I'm just going to pat it down here around. It's like you're putting the cut crease before you do anything else. This is how I do my smoky eyes. So I know it's a dark color, but it's okay. It is what we want. Look at that. That is what we want. So, before I get too far ahead on this eye, let's go ahead and put the tape on the other eye so we can do both eyes at the same time. There we go. As this tape lifted. There we go. Now we look funny and we... We, we look like an alien because we've taped up our eyes, but I'm just going to take the gray and do the same thing that I did with this eye. See how I kind of did this semi-cut crease and brought it out to the tape? That's what we're going to do on the other eye. And when we primed, we primed everything. So we didn't just prime our eye. We primed everything. Okay, we're going to clean off our brush, blow the excess off there, and then we're going to come in with this purple that's in the center here, and we're going to put that just above where we put our dark gray, and I'm using the same brush. I just cleaned it off a little bit, and we're going to put it just up above that dark gray and kind of blend them together at the same time. The easiest job in the world. Blending. Not really. I'm learning as I'm going. So, look at that. This purple is beautiful. So now I'm going to do the same with the other eye to make them match. And if you're hearing in the background, that's my son in his room. And then I ha I left the AC on up here in my room. 
because we have a portable one and I want to be able to stay cool so hopefully it's not too loud let's lift up our eyes ah! Look at that. There, perfect. Now we're going to go with this silver just above that. Just to make it glisten and shine. I love this silver. I'll use it outside of these colors. And I'm just using the same brush because why not? And this is how I do my smoky eyes. And it also helps bring your eyebrows out, which I have not done my eyebrows. Those are my natural eyebrows, just for those that are wondering. Dust that off. Now I'm gonna come in which is this light brown right here on the side and just do just above that to highlight the, the, the inner part of the brow because that's the only spot we didn't cover anything and it matches my foundation so it kind of makes it look like it's natural and it's supposed to be that way so that is what we're doing now we're going to clean off the brush again because we're, we're done with it for right now we will smoke out the bottom with the purple in just a minute. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. And it worked out both on both sides. So beautiful, fun, gorgeous. Now I'm going to take the other side after I did a little bit more foundation so that I can clean up just a smidge underneath. And I'm just using my blender brush. We didn't have much fallout, so that's good. And you don't really want to pat it. Well, you don't want to rub it, you want to pat it. But look at that. That ended up just perfect in that cat's eye look. That's what we wanted, that's what we were looking for, and it went straight to the eyebrows. Perfect, beautiful, wonderful. It works great with tape every single time so that is what we wanted we are good to go on that I don't think I'm gonna do any eyeliner today we're just gonna leave it at that we're, we're just gonna leave it at that I am however going to tighten up this purple on this side just a tad because I doled it down with the silver and there we go now we're going to go underneath and smoke it with that same purple that we used in the middle. And I'm just using the other side of that brush. Look at that. I kind of went off camera to do it so I can see what I'm doing. Who else goes and ah, makes funny faces when they're doing their under eye? I try not to, but I do it every time. So there is that. Clean off the brush, clean off the brush, and we are good to go. And we just used one palette of eyeshadow, Alme, in doing our eyes. And our eyes are done. So I'm going to now close this one that I used the brush out of. I don't know why I pulled that out. I don't want that. What are we doing now? We're going to do blush. I will get to mascara in just a few minutes. But we're going to do blush now. Wonderful blush. 
my hair is pulling out and doing what it wants to. Okay, that's our foundation brush. We don't want to use that. We're going to use our blush brush and get the cat hair off there first. I just use a peach rose color and it is by CoverGirl. So that is what I use for blush. I don't think I'm going to contour today. But this is a pretty good start to getting to feel back to normal when you actually come in and actually put a face on. So we're doing pretty good. And I always like to bring it around my hairline as well because my foundation has me so pale that this actually helps me not be quite so pale and then I'll just bring it down and around as well and carry it down to my neck. And, and on the nose a little bit. But that is our blush. Now, let's tone that down just a smidge with, and this is just a, a fluffy brush. It says face, so it's for all around powders in your face. Tone that blush down just a smidge on the cheeks. And with the light eye that I've got going, but it's a smoky one, I don't really need to do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to come in with my eyebrow gel and just fix how they look. There again is the e.l.f. clear, and the both sides are clear. It's a clear eyebrow gel. And I like to scrape off because it doesn't take much. You don't need much. And then you just tame your eyebrows. Look at that. Perfect eyebrows. It's almost like hairspray for your eyebrows. You can brush them up and just leave them all completely up, which I do for the most part in the front. But look at that. It helps tame the eyebrows and they're like just perfect. And right now since I washed my hair, my, my eyebrows are just like the lightest of light. There again, that is the clear eyebrow gel from ELF. I use a mixture of makeup. Okay, now we are going to go in with, we're going to figure out a lip. I will show the lips and we will figure out a lip. For, that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling out the lips before we put on our mascara. That way I'm not like going, I can't see what I'm doing. So. And then I will show the colors on my hand to show you what they look like. This is our Black Cherry Glaze. I love this color. Such a bright, vibrant color. Black Cherry Glaze. Look at that color. I love that color. I'm not sure I want to go this vibrant though. But that is the Black Cherry Glaze. So I don't want to do Black Cherry Glaze. So we're going to put that one back in the box. Um, this one is a Illuminating Rose. This is the one I, I paired uh, with the other day for Easter. It is a glitter gloss. You're probably not going to see much of it. Illuminating Rose. So Black Cherry Glaze and Illuminating Rose. Look at how beautiful and vibrant those are. And that one might be a good one, so we'll set that aside right there. Um, this one is Coral Kiss. There again, it is a more neutral light pink color. It don't look like it on the stick, because look at the stick. There we go, there is that one. Again, this is Coral Kiss. So, 
Black Cherry Glaze, Illuminating Rose, and Coral Kiss. Don't know. I don't think I want to do that one, so I'll put that one away. And then this one is exposed. It's the one that I put underneath for Easter. It is this one is the most neutral color that we have. Um, it actually gets to where it matches my skin, and it's like I don't even have lips. So that that one is exposed. but I love it. it. It's good to put underneath as like a base coat, almost like a foundation for your lips when, when you actually go to put on like one of the glosses because you want a little bit of shimmer as well. Um, this one is blush. This one you guys have seen me do on my eyes as well and you shown you how you can use it as a eyeshadow. So that is blush. We're going to have a decorative arm by the time we're done. It's going to be so pretty. Put my tape back down. I don't need the tape. So that is blush. I don't think I want that fiber different color. Um, this one is Crimson Fire. This one I've been asked if I can wear. I don't know. We might put this one on. It's just such a bright, vibrant red. One of our bright, vibrant reds. Because see, look at that. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. So Crimson Fire, right there on my wrist, that's Crimson Fire. Look at that. So, so many beautiful, vibrant colors. If you notice that they're all vibrant and they all look good against my skin tone, they are specifically formulated to go with any skin tone, which I absolutely love. And I'm like the whitest of white, and I can wear them. Okay, this one is Cinnamon Spice. I really like wearing Cinnamon Spice as well. Um, is this one is a beautiful color as well. So cinnamon spice. You see, it, it, this one's got kind of a brown color to it. It kind of, if you, if I put it next to the, the first one that I did, they kind of look similar. So that's cinnamon spice, and that's black cherry glaze. You put both of those together, and they're they're kind of similar, but they are different. Um, Cinnamon Spice has more brown to it, whereas Black Cherry Glaze has more red uh, red tones to it. So there is what we have so far. This is Cinnamon Spice. I'll put that one right there because I think that might be a good one. Um, this one is Metallic Vivid Dream. This one would go pretty good too as well. I was debating on this one for Easter as well. This is our purple color and it's so pretty. So Metallic Vivid Dream is right there. That's Metallic Vivid Dream. A, a pretty color. I'm thinking I'm going to put Cinnamon Spice back. I'm going to leave Metallic Vivid Dream right there. And then here we have Fuchsia Fantasy. This one is another bright, vibrant red. Look at that. A bright, vibrant red. Bright, vibrant red. Fuchsia Fantasy. Look at that. Perfect for, like, if you're looking for that perfect um, red to go with that black dress. So Fuchsia Fantasy is right there. But that's too bright and vibrant for what we got going on. Um, this is Peach Rose. It is another shimmer. This one's like really shimmery. I'm not sure if you guys can really see that sparkle. So Peach Rose. This is one of my favorite beautiful colors. So that is Peach Rose. Look at the shimmer in that one. So pretty. But I think that would be too light for what we got going on right now. That would have been perfect for yesterday, but I didn't wear it yesterday. Um, and then this one is Full Disclosure. Full Disclosure is kind of another one that's kind of like exposed. It is a neutral color. So let me clean off my wand because we don't need that much. So this is Full Disclosure. We will put it on here next to 
in that one. So there is full disclosure in our last one. Look at how beautiful. So there is all of our colors. Close, dang it, close. So there are all of our colors right there. So, and what is wonderful is they are all, whether you get the shimmery gloss or the plumping gloss or the lipstick, they are all $24. So that right there, I think is wonderful. I'm going to fix something right here. Because I looked over at you guys and I saw that my eyeshadow was being funny. So we fixed it. It looks so much better now. So I'm thinking Illuminating Rose is the color that we are going to put on today. So I'm going to put Illuminating Rose right there. And we're going to put Metallic Vivid Dream back. So, illuminating rose is what we are going to put on. <sighs> I gotta blow my nose again. I, I can wait. I'm not doing too bad. So, illuminating rose. I wipe too much off my stick. And these are such a, a creamy, creamy, and when I say creamy found formula, they are creamy and they just glide on. But this is just me being picky on how, it, uh, how it's looking. Because we did this perfect cat's eye look to our eye, we want everything else to look perfect too. So there we go. A beautiful color to go with our dark lips. Our dark lips. Our dark, dark eyes. So, illuminating rose on the lips. Beautiful, beautiful color. Now we're going to go in and we're just going to lightly do our mascara. This is our Vicks mascara. It is 22. So all of our lips are 24, the mascara is 22. You can get the lip mask and the lip scrub for 36. Um, these come in a set, um, I believe it is 42 or 46, don't quote me on that. But it is a, a savings, a huge savings because each of them separately is that price. So you're saving. It's like you're buying one and you're getting one free. Oh, I forgot to show the wand. There's our wand. I'm gonna scrape it off a little bit more. Hello, Miss Dot Dot. Are you guys playing fetch around the bed? Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. You notice I'm not just going straight up, I'm sh I'm wiggling my wand. And you see how it like separated the lashes? Try not to poke myself in the eye as well. Look at that. That was like a perfect eye, and it's just light. Um, that's what I love about this mascara. You can put it on light, or you can put it on thick. And we are doing a light coating today. I did. I'm going to wipe it off a little bit more, just so that we can fix that. And don't freak out when you see the missing eyelashes on the end over here. I did that the other day. I freaked out because I was like, hey, I'm missing eyelashes. I am missing eyelashes, but there's a reason for it. It's because they fall out with my thyroid condition. So...
Look at that. So we have the perfect eye. As long as I don't touch, I don't have any. Nope. And look at that, we fixed it with the Beauty Blender. As long as you don't blink when it's wet, you're good. So there is our look for today. Um, we have used a Vicks Mascara and Illuminating Rose to finish this look. Beautiful color. It's still bright and vibrant, but light and perfect to go with our eye. Um, I'm going to hop off and fix my hair, and then I am going to take pictures for you all. There again, here is a look at just the colors that I have on hand. Oh, thank goodness I didn't blend. Well, I knew they weren't going to blend, but I mean smudge. Um, if I actually leave it on long enough, the, the, the lip colors will actually stay on my arm, so I'm going to be taking them off my arm so I can take the pictures. But we got our beautiful eye done. We did not do much for our eyebrows. We did our foundation to show you because I was asked to show how I do my foundation. And then I just do a simple lip. Sometimes I will put on a lip liner. But lately I haven't been. But thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day.